So throughout watching Super Dragon Ball Heroes, we didn't see Goku break beyond his limits. We didn't see Vegeta just now breaking beyond his limits. But what about Trunks? Is it possible to see Trunks break his limits within Super Dragon Ball Heroes? In this video, we're going to talk about that and we're going to bring up some supporting reasons on why this could happen. So the last time we seen Trunks actually break his limits within the Dragon Ball franchise was in the Goku Black arc. Up facing two Zamasu's, one who took over Goku's body and was able to tap into all of his strength, proved to be a very most powerful foe for Trunks. He could not handle it at all. At the beginning, I believe he can only go Super Saiyan 2. So of course he has no match. That's why he went back in the past to go ahead and get help from Goku and Vegeta in the present timeline. Now, after realizing after all of that training that Goku and Vegeta did in the present timeline, going back into the future timeline and still not hardly being any match for Goku Black really did cause Trunks to get mad within himself how he couldn't protect his own timeline and that now even going and seeking help, he still cannot protect his timeline that caused him to tap into a power that far exceeded what he had before even kind of resembled Super Saiyan Blue in some way but his hair was still gold and yellow so we call it Super Saiyan Rage Trunks now within the Heroes timeline we didn't see a lot of different things I mean our first time seeing Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, um, Cumber, Few it's a lot of different things that we just did not think that we would see in an anime. I know Super Dragon Ball Heroes is a promotional anime. They're promoting a video game, but still, it's still great to see these different aspects. And plus, Super Dragon Ball Heroes had a lot of different uh, transformations and fusions already. We just really didn't really pay that much attention to them, like Go Hints, uh, which is the fusion between Gohan and Trunks. Another reason why I said that we could possibly, possibly, possibly. And I'm emphasizing that because I don't want anybody to say that this is confirmed or anything like that. It's just a theory that I have. But another reason why I say that is because at the beginning episode, I think one through five, before they changed the way the intro looks on Super Dragon Ball Heroes, the promotional anime, we did see Goku, Vegeta, and Trunks training on Beerus' planet. And then at the end, we did see Trunks actually go into that mode in the intro. Another reason why it could also happen is because Trunks has been beaten down a lot lately um, by the uh, Tephorians, Tephurians, um, which is Orin in common. But not only that, his own daddy, who got possessed by one of them, he, um, he just been getting beat down a lot. Um, Vegeta did too, and now we see that he's able to go ahead and go into the Super Saiyan Blue evolution transformation. So it's pretty much showing us after they get beat down then they go ahead and tap into their full potential. In the case with Vegeta, that's Super Saiyan Blue evolution. In the case with Goku, it is um, Ultra Instinct Omen and then later on Master. So why wouldn't they do the same thing with Trunks? It's time for Trunks to actually go and be of some help. Since he came, he has not been any help at all. The only thing he's done so far was save Mai. When Mai was about to get hit by to possess Super Saiyan 2 Goku and that red blast was about to hit Mai, he was able to go over there and knock it out the way, which wasn't really much. But it's time for Trunks to actually have some shine now. And I think Super Dragon Ball Heroes is going to give that to him sometime in the later future episodes. I hope so. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're a brand new to this channel and what do you guys think do you think trunks would tap into the super saiyan rays transformation within super dragon ball heroes do you think he needs to get beaten up some more of being proved worthless even more before he's able to tap into it i mean vegeta has already tapped into his potential goku is tapping into his potential what at least two times within this series what do you guys think let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.